Hey, what's up, you two? Welcome to the Dream Green Show. I'm Zeke, and today I'm going to give you a complete update on my aggressive acorns portfolio. And we're also going to find out today in this video which portfolio style would be best for you. So I'm going to show you exactly how to figure that out in this app today. But enough of the intro, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back. Here we go. We're inside my Acorns account. If we take a look at invest in your future, I'm going to show you my aggressive portfolio and exactly what stocks is Acorns buying with my money and how much of each stock do I own. So right now, if we scroll down and take a look at my portfolio, it is set on aggressive. And actually what's helping me grow my account even faster is that I have my roundup settings on automatic times two. That means for every dollar I spend at the grocery store, if I spend a dollar fifty, it's going to round up to the nearest dollar and then invest it times two. So it's going to invest fifty cents times two, so a full dollar into my Acorns account. Also, every Friday I have a reoccurring ten dollars invested into Acorns every single Friday. So I have my pocket change every time I swipe my card invested into Acorns, ten dollars every Friday, and then I also have my account set on aggressive. So before we go over what stocks is um. Acorns buying with my aggressive portfolio and what um, portfolio style should you be using? And I'm going to show you how to figure out what um, portfolio style that you should be using. Let's go over my all time data because my Acorns did take a big significant hit after the bear virus news had came out. So um, let's go and click on performance details right here. Right now, my account is at $2,778.78. Um, all time gains, I am down $111, a little under 4% at 3.84% to be exact is my all time. Uh, at one point, my account was all the way up to $2,825. And after the bad news had came out, my account had dropped all the way down to $1,958. So this is some of the risks that you take from having an aggressive portfolio, okay? Uh, when it's doing good, it's, it's doing great. But when bad news come out, like uh, what happened the last couple of months, it, it could drop significantly, okay guys? So I, I'm gonna stick with aggressive portfolio, but let's say if I had a moderate portfolio, uh, it might not have grown as fast, but uh, I know the news would not have affected my portfolio as much to where it dropped this much in a couple of months. So if we take a look at the last month, um, Acorns had killed it for me. Okay, the stocks that I own inside Acorns had absolutely killed it. Uh, I'm up two hundred and five dollars the last month, almost eight percent in a single month. So it's almost caught my portfolio back up to where uh, it was left off before the bad news had came along. If we take a look at the last day, I'm up uh, $2. So the market pretty much traded sideways and it almost closed where it opened up at. So I'm up a dollar over the last day. So not bad, still passive income coming in every single uh, month from Acorns. So let's go back out and take a look at what stocks is Acorns buying with my aggressive portfolio and how you can figure out what portfolio style is best for you. So to see what uh, Acorns is buying with your um, portfolio, all you wanna do is click on aggressive. And there it goes. It shows you um, exactly what they're investing into. If it was conservative, moderately conservative, it's gonna show down here what you're going to get short-term government bonds so conservative is mostly bonds uh moderately conservative is bonds in stocks and large company stocks moderate is uh government bonds large company stocks and real estate stocks um moderately aggressive is uh real estate stocks um government bonds and large company stocks and then aggressive is the same thing but they get rid of bonds completely and invest into real estate and large company stocks so that's how you know what they're investing in. If you want to see what exact stocks are they buying to figure that out, you just back out and you go down back to your performance details. And here's the trick. You swipe right once. All right. So I have let's look at shares. I have 15 shares of um, large company stocks. Um, 
four shares of other large company stocks, four shares of small company stocks, seven shares of emerging market stocks, and 3.7 shares of real estate stocks. So this is how you figure out what are they're buying. You just click on it. And the uh, large company stocks, they're investing into an ETF of VEA. So the company is VEA, it's an ETF. And I own, how many shares of that did I own? 15 shares of VEA. Uh, large company stocks is VOO. I love VOO. This is a great ETF. Um, this is how it's been performing the last week. It's up $15. Uh, VOO is up to $271. And I own uh, four shares of VOO. Uh, small company stocks, uh, tickle symbol VB. Uh, this is another ETF in the Vanguard. Uh, this company over the last week has also done extremely well, up 7.26%. And if we look at emerging market stocks, there's another ETF, VWO. So um, as you guys can see, the trend is that uh, Acorns like to invest into ETFs. And then these holdings that these companies hold, let's go back right quick. Uh, let's go to VOO. I like VOO. All right, so these companies that the ETFs that VOO is Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, JP Morgan, Break, uh, JP Morgan Chase, and Berkshire Hathaway. So all of these companies are in VOO uh, portfolio. So this uh, this aggressive portfolio is actually investing into great companies, and these are not really risky companies. Microsoft is not a risky company. Uh, Apple is not a risky company. So the ETFs are pretty safe to me. So for it to say aggressive is really not that aggressive, except for they got rid of uh, completely investing in bonds. So that's why I like my aggressive portfolio. And the last one was real estate stock, uh, tickle symbol VNQ. It's another ETF, it's also a REIT in the Vanguard. And this one over the last week has been doing extremely well also up 6.93 percent of four dollars and 77 cents so all these companies have been doing extremely well the last week that is great so acorns uh they invest into etfs for the aggressive portfolio and that's something that i like i know that my money is somewhat safe and not that they're investing into small little penny stock companies they're actually investing to ETFs that have a broad range of different companies inside of their portfolio so that's one reason that I like uh, the aggressive portfolio into acorns so now what you guys been waiting on is how do you know what style of investing is best for you inside the acorn apps I'm going to show you how to figure that out right now okay so what you can do is you go to this screen right here once you get back to this screen you click on your portfolio settings at the top mine's is set at aggressive for what you'll do you click that and once you're inside, you have the choice between five different styles from conservative, moderately conservative, moderate, uh, moderately aggressive, and aggressive, those five different styles. So let's say if I wanted to change it from aggressive to moderately aggressive, they would sell off of those, um, some of my shares of VOO and some of those other ETFs, they would sell off some of those shares to where it would fit these percentages of government bonds, corporate bonds, large company stocks, small company stocks. So we sell off some of my real estate shares in order to buy some government bonds, or corporate bonds. So uh, it would take Acorns a while to readjust my portfolio to, to fit the moderately aggressive portfolio. So it's recommended that uh, if you change your portfolio, try to keep it there for a very long time. Don't go in here and say, I want a uh, conservative, uh, this month and then next month I'm gonna change it to aggressive and then the month after that I'm gonna change it back because uh, you could potentially lose money by consistently uh, Changing your portfolio quickly before your uh, account even have time to readjust The shares the share sizes in your portfolio. So it's recommended to keep it at one um, Investing style for an entire year two three four years it's, uh, it's recommended to keep it that way you set it and forget it, but if you did want to change it uh, mine is that aggressive. Once you switch it over to another one, it's down at the bottom, it says change portfolio. So all you do is click that. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? And if you're not sure, it's gonna give you a recommendation on what would you wanna do. You get, get a new recommendation. So you click that. Once you click that, um, the investor profile will come up. You just type in your information and then it's gonna give you a recommendation. So let's go through this right quick. Uh, are you employed? You put full time? 
What's your yearly income? Let's say uh, 50 to 100,000. What is your net worth? Let's say 10 to 50,000. Uh, what is your investment goal? High growth potential. We're all about making money. Uh, what is your level of financial education? Let's say that we're all, you know, beginners. Uh, initial, how much money do you plan to invest? Um, some of my cash, you know, we're not going to invest money that we don't have. So just, just say some of, some of my cash. And what assets do you need to your Acorns investment? Uh, let's say within the next 16 to 20 years. Okay. And then you hit update. And this is going to give you a recommendation. All right. So based off those statistics, the new update had came in. It says that I should uh, thank you for updating your investing profile based on these changes. We now recommend the moderately aggressive pro uh, portfolio for you. Would you like to see it now? So that's uh, how you can figure out what um, investing style would be best for you inside the Acorns app by just using that simple trick right there. I'm going to hit not now because I actually like my aggressive portfolio. I actually love it. And there we go, guys. That is a full update to my Acorns aggressive portfolio that I've been using for a little over a year now. Uh, I showed you guys exactly what is Acorns investing into, what companies they're investing into, what ETFs. Just in case if you don't want to use Acorns, um, and you have another investing app that is what acorns is investing to but if you guys do want to sign up using acorns i will leave a link down in the description if you sign up using that link you will get a free five dollars and then i'll get a free five dollars just for you signing up clicking that link and they're actually running a promotion right now is that if you get a couple of your friends to find up sign up i think three or four that you'll get an extra 250 dollars in, uh, invested into your acorns portfolio so if you guys at home and you want to get your friends and family on them that is a great way to kickstart your investment portfolio on acorns without even leaving the house while we're all in quarantine right now but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon peace